So the first question is, um, who are you both and then what do you both do? And sort of give us a, a brief background of where, where you've been and how you, what you're doing now really, how you've got to this point. Okay. So um, I'm Jenny Keogh. Um, I'm an artist, uh, primarily painting, um, but I also um, organise creative events in and around Taunton um, via Go Create, which is a community interest company alongside Liz. Um, and we also organise Taunton Live Art Festival, um, among many other things. Um, I grew up in Bristol originally and went to a Steiner school, so had a um, a strong arty backbone um, and went on to study art in various forms, including um, a fine art degree in, in Exeter. Hi, um, I'm Liz Hutchin. Um, I was born and brought up in, uh, in Newcastle and gradually have worked my way down the country and across to the West Country. Having been at university in, um, in Leeds where I studied um, language studies and art, and art for teaching, so a BA degree. Um, I taught for a long time but sadly have become, become quite disillusioned with the way creativity is being squeezed out of even the primary curriculum. So I was really, really pleased when I met up with um, Diane Bunnell and Jenny who organised the very first Taunton Live and I came on board as a schools coordinator and have uh, more recently taken on um, actually organising the festival alongside Jenny. But I have my own little business that runs alongside called Busy Lizzy Art and I go into schools through Busy Lizzy Art to do um, lots of work with teachers and the children but I also paint and do murals and all sorts of crazy things. So that's me. <laughs> And then, could you uh, both tell me how you create and tell stories through your events, so like Go For It and like Tour and Life, how you tell stories through them and sort of the meaning behind them and the vision behind them, really? Yeah, um, so Go Create um, was actually formed from the Creatives Club, which was originally set up as a, a Creative Sunset initiative, which um, Creative Innovation Centre kindly hosted for free uh, for, well, for numerous years. Um, and we all, see, we, we all get together, a bunch of different creators and all different art genres, networking, um, talking about collaborations. And um, what came out of that really was that we wanted a group that was more of a kind of doing rather than a talking. Uh, so Go Create was set up. Um, and so I suppose Taun the Taunton Life was one of the first main events yeah. to be organised by Go Create. And I guess the thing about Talk Tonight is it's all about community and it's all about involvement, um, involving everyone who wants to be involved in the arts um, and making the arts accessible, I guess, yeah. to all, all people in all different walks of life and all different experiences and, yeah. and so on. Yeah, so Talk Live is, in a way, a platform for um, all creatives or anyone interested in the arts in any way, shape or form to to tell their own stories mm. um, and to share experiences. Um, and that might be professional artists, emerging artists, it might be community groups and charities, um, you know, children in schools, um, you know, yeah, I, it really I, is everyone, isn't it? It is, and I think for us, the, we feel that the arts enhance people's lives so much and give people things to get engaged in and engaged with and so on, um, that we just feel it's such an important thing that that we involve people in. Yeah. yeah. And from that, how powerful do you think this, they are, like events like this can be? Um, and from that, you mentioned about like all ages really get involved in it. Yeah. Do you think that's sort of a really powerful thing? Yeah, it is. It's, it really is. It's starting to build communities again. Um, I think a lot of people feel that it's, you know, not like the good old days where your kids could play in the streets and people would get involved and everyone would know their neighbours. Um, you know, it's getting to know people and getting to know different cultures, getting to know different um, art genres. Um, we've got knit and natter groups all over the place that knit year round for the yarn bombing. Um, you know, it's, um, yeah, it really is, um, it's welcoming to everybody. Hmm. Okay, I think, no, no, I'm just thinking about, thinking about um, how powerful I think the, the way that it that Talk to Live is such a powerful event is that it's an actual happening. Um, people come along, people get involved, um, 
people, you know, look, see, hear. It, it encompasses all the senses and so on. I think it's um, yeah. it's just something that that really does get people on board rather than just looking at something or listening to something. Mm. And do you think these types of events are more powerful than just, say, the singular art like filmmaking or photography or writing or any other art form? Or do you think all these art forms sort of make the event what it is? I think I think that it's um, I think that all, all the different um, art genres are all I mean they're all equally as important, um, but you bring them all together and um, something really magical can happen. You know, you have collaborations, you have um, you have magical um, experiences where you get poets, um, you know, creating poems from a painting inspired by a photograph, inspired by a sculpture. You know, it's uh, uh, perhaps performed with a dance. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's... I think that's it. I think because sort of music and dance, the arts, I mean, the poetry, the sculpture, all those sort of things are make their own individual contributions. But I think when you when you see them all together, I think you know, you see, when you look at dance as well, the way the way dance brings everything together. Um, I think it is such a, an incredibly powerful event because we do sort of cover everything. Really. Yeah. And how do you think people respond to these events? And do you think um, they see what you see in it? Do you think the vision is sort of the same? And do you think people see completely different things when they come to it? <laughs> I guess it's I guess it's it's open for, for all kinds of visions, really. Um, you know, we all we're all so different. And we all have different different ideas and different visions. Um, but uh, but certainly some of some of the feedback we've had um, over the past talk lives that that we've organised. Um, it's really touched on the community groups we've worked with. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, we had um, we had um, a lady who had come along to make um, something out of clay. Yes. And she had it in pride of place on her mantelpiece, and it was the most exciting thing she'd done all year. And she was talking about it a year later. You know, it's, it really does touch lives. I think it. I think it does, and I think as well. I mean, I. I'm busy doing the school's workshops at the moment and I'm doing a series of three in most schools and I went to a school today that I've been at twice before and the children were almost hanging on the railings waiting for me to arrive because you know for them it was just a really exciting exciting happening and they were just desperate to be, to be you know mm. to have me back and, and to get on with the work that they'd started and I think they see it as um, for them, it's it's an exciting thing to have someone coming into the school, and then when they at, at the end of the oh sorry at the event itself, they can see their work in an exhibition alongside other children's work, mm -hmm. and then they get the whole the, they see the bigger picture, not just their little picture. And when they see that bigger picture, they're absolutely amazed. Yeah, it's it's about creating the space for everybody to have their own creative identity, yeah. isn't it? And, and their and individual that. visions within yeah. it. And I think that, that it, again, is, is the beauty of it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. would you say um, events like this sort of, they sort of change in how people view art? Because art, it's sort of come in more of a, I guess, more of a, it was always been accepted, but more of an accepted thing has come in bigger and bigger, and there's always new ideas. Do you think events like this sort of push younger people, especially, to join in and do more art? I hope so. Well, that, that, I mean, that's basically part of the reason for having the school's involvement because we are so concerned about the way the pressures on the curriculum from outside, not to do with teachers at all, but the, the external pressures, are meaning that unless in secondary schools people are studying art and music and dance, they get very little opportunity to do it. Um, and in primary schools even as well. So, yeah. Mm. And could, do you think there's? Do you think other people can do a similar thing? Do you think other people can go out and um, tell stories through their own events? And do you think it's yeah. easy to do that, or do you think it's? Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, we employ a range of, of different artists through Taunton Live. We um, we employ poets, dancers, musicians, storytellers, <laughs> writers, yeah. um, and, and they're all telling their stories. So. Um, you know, and, and they're inviting other people to engage and listen to their stories, and then people will then retell their stories, and they might slightly change. <laughs> I think, I think as well. You know, we, there is quite a, quite a lot of um, funding available 
if people know how to access it. And I think that needs to be made perhaps more, make, people need to be made more aware of that so that, you know, there's, there's no reason why other groups of creative people, you know, can't put them put a festival on, not necessarily saying in Taunton, because this is Taunton Live, but <laughs> different times of the year. But it's, it, it is a, it's a possibility for other people to do, but I think they have to have, you, you do have to have, it's almost like a reason for doing it. Um, I think, yeah, I, I think that, um, I think that the exciting thing is that people can, I think artists, um, you know, if they, if they feel strongly about something, they, sh they should just get up and do it and organise it. And I guess the great thing about Go Create is that we seek, um, encourage and promote creativity throughout mm. Taunton Dean. So, you know, anyone that is interested in putting on any creative event, we welcome them to come and talk to us and we'll help them, guide them. Um, you know, give them any advice we can. You know, we're, we're a very friendly, open bunch. <laughs> I think that's one of the things we're trying to do with Taunton Life this year, with um, engaging with Richard Hewish College and with um, Bridge Water and Taunton College. Because we say, you know, we're, we're trying to access a bit of funding to enable, um, I suppose initially the music department to put on their own gigs in, in different locations throughout Taunton, perhaps, you know, restaurants, eating places where they could. Um, actually sort of coordinate it themselves and put on what they would like to put mm -hmm. on. So and I think that idea is something that could well be expanded, um, sort of kind of youth. Yeah. And then, of, and then festivals. of course the um, you know, the, the video departments could create lovely backdrops and all kinds of things. So there's mm -hmm. you know it just opens things up, doesn't lots, it? Lots and lots of scope. Yeah. yeah. And um, do you think each event, so like Taught Live and other events around around the world, really, do you think they each tell their own different stories and have their different meanings behind them? Um, I guess they all have their own identities. Um, Taught Live is very much it's the creative and performing arts festival, um, but we really focus on community, don't we? That's right, community and local people as yeah. well. So Culture. local artists and local local groups and involving you know as many different groups as we can. Yeah, I mean, I suppose when you think of some of the bigger festivals around the world, I mean, they're around the world, around Britain, not around the world, they they definitely have their own identity. I mean, you think about sort of Carnival time in in Brazil. You think about um, that the Edinburgh Festival that grew out of it was originally sort of very highbrow, and the Fringe developed, and and then we've got all of sort of the comedy, the the arts and things. Um, I think they've all they've all had their own sort of beginnings, didn't they? They've grown out of maybe slightly different things, I mean, think of glass I guess, yeah, I guess the thing that's unique about Taught Live is that it is organised by a bunch of artists. You know, we're not corporate, and we're not, business we're not trying to make money, we are, we are just trying to provide, um, you know, a platform for artists to, to showcase their work and for people to enjoy it and to engage and to participate. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think that, because I was, I was thinking about sort of you know, the bigger festivals that inevitably they strive to get bigger and bigger because they want to make more and more money to be able to get bigger and bigger bands and, and all of that, especially the music festivals. But I guess that's where Taunton Live is very different because it is about the engagement and the community rather than, yeah. well, we don't, <laughs> we break even. Yes. <laughs> and do a lot of donating of time. And we, do, we do a lot of donating of time, yes. And um, with that, do you think there's any, or is there any emotions or feelings that you try to create through the events, or is it just really, I guess, happiness? I guess, really through. Um, any feelings and emotions? I think what, I mean, we're, we're, certainly last year's tour tonight was very much about um, sort of you know celebrating the diversity of culture, mm -hmm. so uh, really fostering understanding and enjoyment and pleasure that you can get from learning from different cultures. Yeah, I mean the incredibly fun time we had sort of Indian dancing you know Bangor and Bollywood dancing and so on. I mean you know it was it was just amazing and that was yeah it was fun but it was also a deeper understanding of, of the culture and where the dance came from and so on. Mm. And then could you give me sort of a brief background of where sort of the arts industry is being and do you think I guess events like this are making more events happen, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're hoping that Taunton Live will, um, I guess, um, make people see how important the arts are um, in people's lives um, and then potentially 
you know, some, some local funding um, to support. Yeah, because, you know, when you consider how important engaging in the arts for people's just the ability to express um, and so on, and you sort of consider lots, so many mental health issues and so on, I think how the arts could actually contribute so much more but there's only a certain amount that we can do yeah. in our own little way. You know, our festival, we try to involve a lot of community groups and um, we certainly involve Taunton Association for the Homeless as well. And, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, YMCA and the Albemarle Centre. That's mm. right, you know, we're doing all of that, but it's all, it's all down to us to, to raise the money, to apply for grants and so on. And I think it, if, it's if a lot of hard work. You need, it needs, it's very dedicated. <laughs> It is, Job. you know, and you, and you just feel that, you know, in, if people sort of count, you know, council, local council, um, county councils, that sort of, if they could only actually see how important it is in people's lives and actually think about having a dedicated arts, um, you know, councillor that, that leads the arts that actually starts to think more about funding, then, you know, I think our, our town would be even better. Mm. I mean, we're doing the little bit that we can with. And I, if, and I also think that if, if Taunton as, as a whole was on board, not necessarily financially, but um, you know, if more businesses adopted an artist or if, exactly, if, yeah. if more businesses um, say, you know, if, if you had um, the Gazette, you know, promoting what was going on more. Um, there are so many ways to, to get the word out there that it doesn't necessarily cost, but it's just it's word of mouth because we can't, you know, it's just, you know, it's just me and Liz and we, we can't get everywhere and tell everyone what's going on and what's available. Um, so it's, it's about everyone pulling together and really getting the word out there. This is going on, I think you know, that, come and celebrate on the 21st of yeah. July. And I think, as you say, you know, if we could get more local businesses, we've got some local businesses which are amazing, year in, year out, yeah, they we make a donation which helps to support things that are going on. And we have others, you know, we've tried, we've tried lots of different ways of getting people on board. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know quite where next, but no. so. sometimes it's a bit like getting blood out of the stone. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes it's joyful. Yeah. So you know, it's I guess it's like life, really. Um, and is there any? Do you have sort of future plans for talking live? Is there anything exciting that you have planned for the next ones to come? Do you think that they will get better and more bigger? I guess. Yeah. So every year. Um, at the end of Taunton Live, the committee, the Go Create committee, which is um, nine creatives, we all get together and we talk about how it went um, and we um, invite all the people that took part to give us their feedback about how they think it worked, how it didn't work. Um, and then we come up with how to move forward. So it has really morphed and changed over the years. Um, the first year we worked alongside Taunton Festival of the Arts and that was, um, that was 10 days, a 10 day festival on Castle Green. Uh, and then the next year we did seven days where we celebrated a diff different genre of the arts each day. Last year we did four days on Castle Green combining um, some of the arts that we celebrated plus three big pop-ups. And then this year we've decided to host creative events throughout the whole of July uh, with one big sort of blast, one big Saturday on the 21st where all the art genres kind of come together in a big fiesta. Um, but so, so I guess we won't really know what happens next year until this year's. Yeah, I mean, we've, come you know, together. we've had lots of thoughts and lots of ideas, but it is, as we said earlier, it's a, a lot down to the fact that we seem to be just pushing and pushing and pushing. And sometimes we feel like we're pushing this big stone up the hill. <laughs> and I think we need, we probably need to sort of take stock this year and think really carefully. Maybe, um, you know, sort of sit back and then come back with a bang perhaps in two years' time. Yeah, we'll see, yeah. See maybe, maybe 2020 Taunton Fringe. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't like wouldn't that. that be exciting? <laughs> um, and then could both of you tell me what story, storytelling means to you and I guess to Taunton Live as well? So in, in, individually, what does it mean to both of you? What storytelling means to you? Um, I think so storytelling to me is, like I said earlier, it's, it's people coming together, people sharing their experiences, talking about their lives. Um, using different mediums to express that. So whether um, you know you're a, you're a performance poet or a singer or a musician or a painter or a sculptor or or a writer or a filmmaker, 
Um, it's, it's using your medium to, to talk about or express how, how you feel and, and who you are. Mm. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> all of that, all of the above, but, but also for me, because I've been involved in education all my life, um, I think inspiring the next generation, getting into schools and getting children, realising that, it, you know, stories, okay, they can, stories can be told, but it is about how you respond, um, how you engage, and different modes of expression as well, so that they can tell their own individual stories through lots of different media too, but actually getting them... I, I specialise, I suppose, in the whole thought of a creative journey. So when I'm working with the children, we start off with some initial ideas and then I, I show them how I would develop the ideas if I were writing a poem or if I was um, creating a painting or if I was going to do, um, I don't know, something of, some other creative uh, form. But I show them, as a person already involved in it, this is what I do. And the children then start thinking, oh yeah, I can do that. I can tell my story like that. And I think that's that's sort of my the, the thing that spurs me on. So, yeah. And then, is there anything you wanted to add onto to the film? Any like coming up? I guess. I guess like the next talk of life coming up this year. I guess. You yes. That. Yes. Well, so talk life, two thousand and eighteen. Yes. <laughs> yes. So lo as we said, loads of creative events going on throughout the whole of July. Um, so you'll have to have a look at the website, talkandlive.co.uk. Um, and, um, you know, just a few things we've got going on. We've got Adopt an Artist, and that's where local businesses showcase local artwork by GoCreate members throughout July. Yeah. Taunton's Got Talent. Yeah. The third any age, any talent, the weirder the better. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we've, we've also got um, the yarn bombing. All the ladies who, well, not all, just ladies, but mainly ladies, who sit and knit and natter during the year will be um, adorning Taunton with it, their knitted graffiti. Um, there's some amazing um, yarn bombing actually on display in Bishop's Lydiard at the moment mm. and a lot of that will be coming into Taunton for Taunton Live. So we've got yarn bombing, we've got all the exhibitions. So we've got the secondary schools competition um, and exhibitions and also the primary schools work. That's going to be exhibited at the library from the 16th, sorry, 17th of July. Um, and prior to that, we're going to have another exhibition at the library, which is a lot of the, the community, um, I suppose the end products of the work that Jenny's going to be doing with the community groups. Yeah. Um, and of course, the big Saturday on the 21st. Yeah, on Goodland Saturday. Gardens, 11 till 7. We've got two music stages, a main stage, acoustic stage. Uh, we've got poetry, we've got um, literary events going on. Yeah, we've got dance, um, dressing up. We've got children's area. Um, mm. Everything's free, apart from the food and the booze. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there will be, there will be food available to buy. And, oh, and down near the Scout um, headquarters at Tangier, they're going to be um, having two different food stalls down there. Yeah. And, and we're going to have live graffiti. Yeah. Um, so it's all going to be happening. Yeah, if you're not there, <laughs> you're not square. <laughs> <laughs> okay.